I believe they'll take it from here. Oh, I am nasty, aren't I? Bye bye, Doctor. Turn off the recording. The strategic advantage is ours. The cyber race should live on. Ah, the troublesome trio. Doctor, Doctor, Doctor. Let the games begin. This has well and truly cramped my style. Oh, is your masculinity hurt by your big sister picking you up from work? Shut up. Am I embarrassing you in front of all your big army friends? Look, my job at Eunice is incredibly important. And my managing of a cafe isn't? That's not what I mean. But you're hardly off fighting aliens at the cafe, are you? Yeah, that's my choice. You may like near-death experiences, but I'm in it for the camera adventure. Right, let's be off. Thank you. When are you next seeing the doctor? No idea. It's just kind of shows up. Well, tell her I said hi. Yes, yes, will do. Ah, that's peculiar. Hello? Is there anybody there? You scared me half to death. It's always good to keep you on your toes. Of course. You've redecorated. Yes, new kitchen and all. I don't like it. Redecorated? You can talk. You look different. No, same on me. Probably the new coat. Yeah, something like that. Well, tea? I fancy a good old cup of tea. Oh, tea sounds good. Two sugars for me, please. No, I'm not making it. I forget. I'll get you the mugs, though. That's not where we keep our mugs. You do now. I did a bit of rearranging. Doctor, are you alright? <laughs> Something is very, very wrong. <laughs> But you. What? How? But you died! Well, I could say the same about you. Where are we? Are we... No! That's not the right question. The right question is, how do we exist? We both died. Neither of us should be here. I don't know. Just be happy we are. But it doesn't make sense. Look, Doctor, I can speak from experience. Sometimes you just survive. It doesn't have to make sense. Just be glad you're... Ugh. Look at me, being positive. Yikes. Yeah, that's right, Master. Keep the spirits high. Ugh. Oh, no. My screwdriver! I don't have it! I don't have anything. Oh, Doctor. You and your gadgets. Why can't you do things the old-fashioned way? 
Well, what do you suggest then? Why don't we, you know, look around? Yes, good plan. Follow me. Follow me? Who put you in charge? No matter what incarnation, you're always pretentious. Right. I'm trying to help the both of us. Plus, I've got years worth of experience exploring. That's nothing compared to me. The master of survival. Are we really arguing over who gets to give directions? Really? You're arguing just as much as I am. Where did you get that from? Good question. I don't know. Who's that? That way. Ah! What's wrong? It's fading. What's fading? Great chunks of my past are detaching themselves like melting iceberg. Where did that come from? I don't want to go. Alien spy! I am not. If you're an alien spy, we all know what happens to alien spies. Don't be lasagna. I wasn't planning on it. Hello. Sorry, Sam. My past, it's changing. I don't understand. Neither do I. Let me fight to the TARDIS, quick. Why does it look like that? Oh no, it's happened to the TARDIS too. Ah! Something in my past, in the TARDIS's past, is being changed. Someone is rewriting history. Who? What? Someone fantastic! Absolutely fantastic! Okay, what can I do to help? Reminds me, remind me of my past. Okay, remember Jenna, short, blonde hair. No! Remember your old face, big nose, no offense. No, I'm taken. Remember! Ah! See, I told you. We should use the TARDIS randomizer more often. No, 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 look, you didn't tell me anything, okay? When I usually use the TARDIS randomizer, it takes us to like a dull grey quarry or some deadly dangerous thing of doom. So basically what you're saying okay, is... Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll admit it. You were right. Thank you. It's amazing. It is. And it's all ours. Ours to explore. Everything that ever happened or ever will at the tip of our fingertips. Can we visit? That galaxy there? Ha! <laughs> the Virgo supercluster. Um, yeah, probably. I mean, I don't see why not. Unless, I don't know, the atmosphere's uninhabitable for humans, or it's a planet of giant man-eating spiders, or something like that. <laughs> you humans, you're so easily breakable. What do you mean, breakable? I mean, you lot live such short lives. You're like, I don't know, like, like fireworks, you set off the fuse, then boom, you're off, hurtling towards your potential, until suddenly, in a flash of bright colours and, and memories, you're just... gone. Wow, that was really cheery. But I think we lost a little bit longer than fireworks. I mean, in the grand scale of the universe, you lot are only here for like a fleeting second. I don't know how you're not in a constant state of existential dread. I disagree. The short time that we have is what makes life so special. How so? Look, the rapid nature of our lives is what makes them special. We have to enjoy every day. And like fireworks, we have sudden bursts of energy, joy, brightness and colour. And we cheer everyone up around us, and then we have to enjoy it until it's over. You know what? I like that. In the end, we're all just fireworks in the night sky. Jelly baby? No. I mean, in the end, I suppose that's... That's why I travel with you lot. You... you help me see it. See what? The beauty of the universe. I mean, I may not look it, but I am thousands of years old. I've seen all this stuff before. But I can live the universe anew through your eyes. This ain't no time for a picnic! What? We gotta get the hell out of here. The Converted are on their way. The who? You got ears, let's go! You Americans, you're so prone to melodrama. Where are we going? Follow me! But what were you running from? I can't... I can't remember. It's too late. Stay back! There will be no pain. Don't shoot them. 
What is this? This is the TARDIS key. Now get inside. It's programmed to take you to Gallifrey. They'll know what to do. I've sent them a distress signal. Aren't you coming with me? For the first time in my life. I don't think I have the time. Oi, you! Come back here! Don't do that! Oh, what is that? Hello? Are you all right? Ugh. What is that? How can we help you? He promised me. He promised us. He stepped in. Who promised you? We want to help you. Get back! Get back! Get back! No! I saved your life. That thing was a bomb. You don't know that. Oh, you didn't have to kill it. I could have deactivated it. Look, this was the quickest and the simplest solution. The creature, whatever it was, wanted our help. It might have had a family, a family it will never see again. Oh, do shut up. I'm good now, remember? I've saved the day, what, like twice now? So spare me your tedious and patronising lectures. Oh, I see. Just because you stopped Omega. Just because you did one heroic thing, that means you're redeemed. That all the countless lives that you've taken, the lives that you've destroyed, are all forgiven. I'm... I'm trying to be better. I saw my future. That's not the man I want to become. I hated him. I want to be like you. I want to be a doctor. Where are we? Tin man, she asked you a damn question. Yeah, well, it looks like you're not getting an answer. There will be no hurt. From what I've heard, this is what's known as a development camp. The development of what? Yes, and I'm not us. We are the future. We are humanity. We are upgraded. No. No. Doctor, you're right. It can't be. We are what you shall be. They're Cybermen. They're all Cybermen. Correct. You shall be converted. With all due respect, we have no idea where they're going to land. When they arrive, we'll know. When who arrive? The doctor, one of her silly little human pets. I don't call them pets, it's demeaning. When you say the doctor, you do mean... Yes, the doctor. I'm not, not to question your judgement, but... Then don't. But we have no way of knowing where she's going to land based on a loose distress signal. He's right. From what I've heard, the doctor is an excellent pilot. And if she had any sense, she wouldn't land near the citadel. Doctor! 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 Oi! Look, I want to help you. I really do, but I don't even know who I am. What do you mean? I'm just an echo. I don't know where I came from. 
Or if I'm even the Doctor. Of course you're the Doctor. Am I? I have their memories, but that's it. It's more than that. You saved Jenna and the other Doctors. You... You saved me. Yeah, all because of that stupid notebook. I was just following what was written down. Today is the first day I'm not following orders. I'm free to do whatever. I... Look. Come on. We can get through this together. Cheer up. We'll go and find that cloaked thing and find a way out of here. Then we'll look for some answers about who you are. Look, there. Right then, let's get some answers. There! Who are you? Why have you been following us? What do you want? What have I told you? All humans should have been processed. Where did you come across these life forms? We found them outside. They have not yet received any form of conversion. Are they compatible? They all appear fit and healthy. Excellent. Take them for upgrading. No! We're not going with you! You do not have a choice in the matter. The ascension of humankind is upon us. Bad luck for you, because I'm not human. Refrain from moving. Seize them. Stay where you are. Do not attempt escape. Stay back. We have no fear. This threat will not work. Scans detect not all life force present are human. You are Time Lord. Oh no. I'm not just another Time Lord. I'm the Doctor. Doctor? One of the cyber race's oldest foes. However, it seems you have drastically altered your appearance since we have last met. That's pretty rich coming from you. I mean, what's with all this, the whole half-converted thing? They are awaiting full conversion. For now, they are my puppets. Their brains tuned into the cyber network. Oh, I see. You don't have enough power to convert them all. This place is running on a... a single chronodyne generator. Pathetic. It is adequate. Well, I mean, it's clearly not. You can't even give the full upgrade. We do not need to give them the full upgrade yet. We have hundreds of conversion camps set up across the planet. In time, all humans will be upgraded. Hold them. You make one more move, I'm going to blow that damn bucket off your head. Incorrect. Ah! That's my knee, you bucket of balls! Take him for conversion. Look, I'll back you. Right now, you need to get back to the office. Stay where you are. Bring them to me. The cyber network shall improve human life. It will advance human progress, industry, and health. It even allows me to have complete control over you. You have no such thing. This is incorrect. Observe. No! If you disobey us, the human female will die. See, Doctor. Get off her now. This is proof that emotions destroy you. They are nothing but weakness. Emotions are strength. They keep you strong. They keep you fighting. They give you hope. And they, they give you mercy. These are all irrelevant qualities. They lower productivity and reduce our chances of survival. Human lives are so short, we can extend them. Life isn't just about productivity. It's about making the most of the time we have. And I think, I think that shortness of a human lifespan is what makes it so special. This is irrelevant. The girl will be tuned into the cyber network. 
As you wish. Right. Attendine over there. Latius over there. Excuse me? I'll stay here. I think you're forgetting that I'm the leader of the Fed. Look, we don't have time for this. We're literally time lords. And on the count of three, one, two, three. That wasn't supposed to happen. All oh, right. Not to panic. Nice work, you imbecilic oaf. I don't blame the tech guy. I got this tech from from Morthas. In fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna go have a word with him. Yeah. Who are you? Take that hood down or I'll... ...be really angry with you. Oh, dearie me, there's no need for the hostility. Wait, what? Well, there's just no need. It's not a very good first impression anyway. First impression? That cloak? That cloak was terrifying. Oh, sorry, love. That was so the converted wouldn't recognise me. You don't think I'm an evil psychopath just because I'm wearing a cloak, do you? Well, yeah, kind of. Well, that teaches you that appearances can be deceiving. So, who are you? Oof, you don't have to pretend you don't recognise me. I'm not pretending. I might have let my hair grow out and put on a few wee pounds, but it's still me, laddie. We aren't exactly from around here. You aren't joking about, are you? Nope. Well, I am Macaulay Oliver Newton Cade. I'm the man who caused this ruckus, this mess, this hubbub. What hubbub? I am the reason the Cybermen took over this planet. It's all my fault. Cybermen? What do you mean? Allow me to explain. Sit down with you. Sit down there. Projection on. This is where it all began. A rogue spaceship with the last surviving Cybermen on board. They sent out a distress signal, which I picked up with my, um... With, with my thingamadoogle. What's it called? Can you just cut to the chase? Ooh. Oh, sorry, dear. I do love to natter. But to cut a long story short, I invited the Cybermen here to this planet, and they came, and they did what they do best. They converted. Convert and upgrade! How do we know if the Doctor's still in there? Doctor, are you in there? Well, that's one way to do it. Hello? Is that you, Doctor? Have you? Regenerated? Well, ah, uh, no, not exactly. I'm not the doctor. Ah, one of her pets then. So I made it scout ready. That means you're Time Lord, the doctor species. Well, she never told me you were all so large. We're not. You at this press moment in time are small. What are you banging on about? You're some form of time anomaly. 
Neither you, that TARDIS, or your doctor should exist. At least not in this timeline. Yeah! And how exactly does that explain why I'm so small? Step aside. Let us talk to the doctor. Well, that may be a tad difficult. You see, she's vanished. What do you mean, vanished? She said something about her past breaking down like icebergs. It didn't make any sense. We're going to help, but don't let your tiny human mind get too overwhelmed. Tiny human mind? From what I've seen, you guys are like the Dad's Army of Time Lords. Don't you dare talk about my father like that. He doesn't mean your father. It's entertainment on Earth. Hmm. We'll take the TARDIS back to the Citadel with us and fix whatever this is. Let me just turn off the dimensional controls. <laughs> Once we enter the Citadel, we'll enter the Matrix. I've got a plan. Well, here we are, 21st century England, London to be precise. You are home. Yeah, home. Buck up, Jenna. You look as if you've seen a ghost. Right, that is not good. Look, Jenna, if you're worried about the Saba people, take this. What is it? It's a cloaking device. It can keep you hidden from the cyber people. It's what I used to escape earlier. Huh. Thanks. Right, Jenna, you need to stay here for your own protection. I'll come back for you later. Where are you going? That planet. It's crawling with conversion camps. We need to take them down. Look, it shouldn't take us too long. What time do you want picking up? Um, I don't. You don't? Uh, I'll let you two deal with the domestic side of things. Now, where's that coat? I'm chilly. So, what's wrong? I don't know if I can keep doing this. Doing what? All of time and space. It, it's too... Too overwhelming? Dangerous? I mean, I'll keep you safe. I promise. It's not. Look, I appreciate everything you've done for me, Doctor. I really do. But I just need some time to think. And when I've wrapped my head around how I feel, I'll let you know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, whatever. I mean, brave heart, Jenna. Look, where are all the survivors? Survivors? You're the first people I've seen in the last six months. What do you mean? The rest have been partially converted. Just like that poor chap you saw earlier. Surely not everyone. I'm afraid so. Protection all. They started buying lead in a pub. Took the workers, the customers, then they changed them, upgraded them. Then they realized they didn't have enough technology or power to continue the upgrade. So, what exactly did they do? Well, I was about to tell you before you so rudely interrupted. The Cybermen half converted the remaining humans and uploaded their minds into the data cloud. What data cloud? Well, I don't know. All I know is that the Cybermen have barely enough technology and power to survive. Their entire operations and network is controlled from a single point. And where might that single point be? Oh, now that would be telling. What? Wait, if everyone else was taken, how did you survive? That is where my fantastic bargaining skills chip in. Okay, but seriously, what? Well, me and the Cybermen have a deal, you see. I hunt any humans I can find, lure them in, and hand over the cattle. You are surrounded. Conversion is compulsory. Well, you might as well give up. Neither of us are human. The strategic advantage what? is ours. Surrender now, not attempt to escape. Surrender yourselves. 
to the Cyber Race! Get her! Well, now, somewhere around here then, Doc, if I remember correctly, there's a couple conversion camps, uh, that way. Right. Away we go, then. Feels like something's pulling me away! It'll stabilize any second. Just hold on! I can't hold! Well, but where's he gone? We should go and find him. Stay sat down. If we move, we risk the process failing. He can't have gone far. Send a call for Radcliffius. The process? What process? Behind me is the Arbor of Arbitrium, the oldest tree in the universe. It has existed since the creation of Gallifrey. And how on earth has it stayed alive for so long? It exists by its sheer force of will. It's... will? What? It's a sentient tree? Somewhat. You've had dealings in the past with Omega, haven't you? He used the properties of this tree to will himself back to life. And why exactly have you brought me to the tree? The Doctor's gone missing, and the only chance we have of bringing her back is by willing her into existence. I've got good news and bad news. Go on. Well, we'll start off positive, or as positive as we can, given the situation. Just get on with it! Right, yes, okay, so we can restore the tiny human to his normal size. Observe. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, any time. And the bad news? Well, the Doctor's TARDIS, it's stuck like that, at least for the moment. Well, can't Mortas fix it? He did ask to have a look at it, so I reckon we send it down to him. Let's begin the process. Uh, what's going on? Why is... Oh, pathetic creature. Wait, what? What was happening to me? Don't struggle. The tree, it's, it's creating a, a psychic link. How exactly does this work? The timeline you're from has been drastically re-altered leaving a weak point in space and time. Your timeline has been rewritten. The Doctor as you knew her only exists in your memory. We need you to remember her, will her back into this timeline. Ah! Allow it in, let it feel your thoughts. Doctor! Doctor! Where are you?
Well, well, well. <laughs> Look what we have here. No. <laughs> it appears time catches up with everyone. <laughs> Even you. <laughs> You can't outrun your past! <laughs> no one can. <laughs> no! No, no, you're not real! I am your destiny! I am your future! You're just a construct of my imagination! You have no power! My dear boy, I'm as real as you are. We are the master! I don't go by that title anymore! Oh, sorry. Slipped my mind. Doctor, was it? Pathetic! How did it come to this? Once upon a time, you were feared throughout the cosmos. And now, look at you! A pathetic mess, groveling for a time lady, begging for redemption. <laughs> but that's not quite it. There's something more. She's special. She's... Uh, get out of my head! I think you'll find it's her head, actually! Uh, get out of my head! No matter how hard you try! <laughs> Isn't it fun though? The killing, the death. <sighs> it's not the life I want. But you! Not anymore. You'll never live up to her, you know. You'll always live in her shadow. You are not the doctor and never will be. Come back. No, no. Oh. I need to find her. Me. You are defenseless. No weapons. No strategic advantage. That's the way I roll. Look at you, though. That's a pretty old cyber model. What, did you run out of money or something? You use humor as a defense mechanism to hide away from your dear. All right, Freud. Emotions do have their uses, don't they? This is illogical. This attempt at humor only prolongs the inevitable. If emotions were truly a strength, Surely the master would be here to help you, not coward in the He doesn't even know that I'm here. It's not his fault. You worry. You fear. Are you good enough? Or are you merely an echo? Yeah. Shut up. You must have had a life once. You didn't start off as a Cyberman. Who were you? This is irrelevant. I have been upgraded. But, but who are you? What was your name? Where did you live? This is irrelevant. Look. 
Look, I'll come with you if you answer my questions. Who are you and where did you come from? I was a bartender. My life served no purpose. I embraced the upgrade. Don't you remember the feelings of being human? Double Jack and Coke, please, mate. That's my thanks. Come on up. You are attempting to override my emotional inhibitor. This cannot be achieved. I have been fully converted. Ah, so all the people who have been half converted can still be saved. They shall be fully processed. There is no hope for them. Oh, but there is. If someone out there could tune into their cyber network, in theory, that means they could breach the emotional inhibitor. And that means they could give people their lives back. Here we are. We've made it. What do you mean, made it? We're in the middle of nowhere. Exactly. What? The middle of nowhere is the best place to dispose of a body. Wouldn't you say, Docky boy? Dispose of a what? Out here, there's no witnesses, partner. Yeah! What do you mean? Who are you? I have waited so long for this day. This will be my everlasting victory. Right, cut the poetry and tell me what's going on. Don't you recognize me, Doctor? Just a tad. I do, but I can't think. I can't focus. Well, of course you can't. Not while I've got this little beauty around my neck. But that's... that's my TARDIS key. Not anymore. I'm afraid it's mine. And might I say, its nifty little perception filter has proven quite useful. Now the veil's been lifted, do you recognize my face? Does it ring any bells? Hear ye! Hear ye! But you! Just like you, Doctor. I'm a man of many faces. Did you like the quick change? Just explain what's going on! Back in the 16th century, I may have told you a teeny tiny fib. It wasn't the black hole that took you a TARDIS. It was me! I simply reprogrammed your randomizer to bring you here, and in the process took one of your TARDIS keys. It was rather easy, I must say. No, no, but you can't have done, because me and Jenna, we've met your ancestors. Oh, another fib. That was me, but with a dashing new haircut. But more importantly, if you've done all of that, then that means you know how to pilot a TARDIS. And that can only mean one thing. Yes, I'm one of you. I'm a Time Lord! But who? Well, I'm not the master. I wouldn't be that predictable. Aren't the robes a bit of a giveaway? Look, I don't You really... destroyed my life! And you don't even remember! You shrunk down! My TARDIS made it unusable. You ruined my meddling. I became an outcast. I'm sure for you it was thousands of years ago. Maybe even your first incarnation. The monk? You called me the meddling monk at the time. I rather preferred that title. However, you are correct. I am the meddling monk, and this is my revenge. But it doesn't stop there, Doctor. I'm so woven into your timeline, you can't escape me. I even infiltrated the Gallifreyan High Council. Stop this madness! This is insane! Oh, I almost forgot. I do live up to my name and have meddled in history once again. This planet is Earth! The converted, its people, and your precious human race chopped up like lambs to the slaughter. Upgraded. What have you done? I've given humanity the ultimate upgrade. No, but you can't have done it. Now we are cyber. Cyber network upload in progress. Oh, the cavalry have arrived. You will come with us? Yes. Just wait. You shall become like us. I said wait! Come with us and you will be... Shut up! Before you take me to that peculiar old man, you might be wondering why I've been carrying around this. Well, this head is still tuned into the cyber network, right? 
correct. Meaning, if I slightly corrupt it for just one second... Help! They took my family, my friends! Don't panic. You've only got your memories back for a fleeting moment, but I'll make sure you're all alright, I promise. Please don't! I need... You will become like us. Certain. Good to see you too, Doctor. Well, it's an honour, Doctor. Oh no, don't salute. I'm not a fan of the whole pomp and circumstance. I... I... To any Gallifreyans out there, I need your help. I'm trapped in some form of... some form of cyber network. I don't know how long I have left. My future's in jeopardy. I'm sending... I'm sending you a psychic link to my location. Help me, Time Lords. You're my own... Um, okay, so that was weird. That must be where the timeline split, where it all went wrong. You're right. We need to help him. Well, you. Radcliffe, start a surveillance beam. On it. Memory files locked. I'm in your head. I'm in your memories. Now, I need you to remember. Remember what makes you human. Remember what makes you feel alive. I love you, Alex. I love you. I I will save you. I will save all of you. I promise. Memory files cannot be accessed. I'm trapped in some Doctor? Of... Is that the doctor? Oh, hello. Um, hello. Oh my gosh, it's you. Yes, it's, it is me. Well, it's not actually me. It's sort of a weird psychic projection brought to you by the power of the cyber network. Yeah, well, what? But I'm not quite sure that my signal reached the right place. Don't you recognise me? Um, yeah! Hang on, no, yeah, yes, yes, I remember! <sighs> I'm an echo. Ah! I'm the doctor. I shouldn't remember you. You shouldn't exist. Tell me about it. You're, you're an echo. An echo of my consciousness. I, I... Look, I don't understand it either. I'm just as lost as you are. It appears his distress call has reached another person, somehow. Who? Well, the doctor's distress call reached the doctor. Another doctor. Okay, patch me in. What do you mean? Patch me into their conversation. I have a plan! Whoa! Hello there! What? 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 Your distress call. It reached Gallifrey and they kindly managed to patch me into the conversation. Right, not confusing at all. You're my future incarnation, yeah? Yes, don't you remember? Oh, the timelines were out of sync. Of course you wouldn't. You look different. different. Yeah, I've been told. Yeah, it's this new blue look. And might I say, our fashion sense has definitely improved. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Since when did we develop good clothing choices? Look, we don't have much time. We need to patch you out of the cyber network. How did you even end up there? Ah, oh, well, that's a long story. The meddling monk. He's back. Who? No! I remember him. He shouldn't be too difficult to deal with. Oh, I remember too. He was just messing about with time for fun. Yes, but he's not the same man we remember. He's been driven insane by revenge and destruction. Revenge? Revenge against who? <laughs> Take a guess. Me? Well, you two. Well, us? Bingo. 
Oh, how clever of you. Well done. <laughs> how are you doing that? There's no winning, Doctor. I tuned, I tuned into your little, your little social, social, social have a time. time. Get out! Oh, oh no, 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 no. I'm not here. Or, or am I, I here? here? Or am I here? Look, there's three of us. Yep, spot on. Three of us. Well, I don't see how counting's gonna do anything. Three brains are better than one. Yes. Oh, brilliant. Our three minds connected together will temporarily overrode this cyber network, setting you free. Not only that, but it's gonna flush him out. Oh, no, you don't. On the count of three. Three. Contact. 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 I know he's altering time. An enemy I made years ago. He's back and he's out for revenge. You make a lot of enemies, don't you? Oi! It wasn't my fault. There was this whole thing and I had to shrink his TARDIS. Shrink his TARDIS? Yep. He's here. What? Oh, but someone shrunk down your TARDIS. It can't be a coincidence. Who else could be responsible? Mortas is the monk. Think about it. He's hidden away in the shadows. He gave you that faulty device that shrunk the TARDIS. He's probably behind Attendee's failure to teleport here. What would he want with Attendee? He was trying to get the Doctor's TARDIS. He, he's not trying, he's, he's got it. If this is true, we can't trust anyone. We need to save my other self and get off Gallifrey as soon as possible. If it is Mortas, surely we should have him arrested. You can't prove it's him. This is preposterous, isn't it, Radcliffeus? Well, well it does make sense. Don't be incompetent. Mortas is a highly respected member of the Gallifreyan Council. No one will believe you! Yes! You're right! I... What? No one will believe us. That is why we need to assemble my other selves and leave Gallifrey. You can't just swan off. Watch me. I've diverted the cyber network's path. It should throw the Doctor out around here. Any second now. Oh. Don't worry, they've got you. But I... Don't I... worry, we don't have any time to explain. We need to find our Echo. We can take my TARDIS, it's that way. You aren't leaving, are you? Hassanite, you do realise what you're doing is a breach of the Time Lord non-interference policy. Hey mate, just back off. Look, human, this is a matter between higher beings are so pompous. Go on then, pass the night. Leave with these traitors! Just know that I will be reporting this to the High Council and your position may just fall to me! Good! Good? This system is corrupt. I want no part of it. I stand with the Doctor. Both of them. You won't get away with this. You hear me? You'll lose everything! I'll tell Mortas that you betrayed him! With us then, Doctor. My mind. Give it a minute. You'll come round. My other selves. Where am I? I found you in a forest. Well, three of you. Whatever psychic battle you were fighting, I think you won. Your other incarnations disappeared and I carried you here. You came back to me? Of course I did. Well, why wouldn't I? <laughs> well, judging by your past self. No. I've put my foot down. 
I'm not the master anymore. I look myself in the eye and I've changed. Maybe. It's strange. It's a nice strange, though. What's strange? Us two. Our bickering earlier. We haven't done that since we were kids. We're now older than... 23? I don't suppose we have. You're always so stubborn. I am not. Okay, maybe a bit. That's part and parcel of being the doctor, I suppose. That, alongside the no-gun rule. No! What? I thought... I wasn't thinking straight then. I was trying to think in the principle of the Doctor. But I was missing the point. You've lost me. It's not about hating guns for the sake of hating guns. It's about the damage that they cause. Being the Doctor is about doing the right thing, even when it seems impossible. What that gun is used for determines whether it's to the force of good or for evil. What good could a gun do? Blast open a door, send up a distress signal, fry an egg. <laughs> the possibilities are endless. You were always a good shot at the Academy. I was top of my class, actually. Listen, I'll keep it for now, but as soon as we're safe, it's gone. Good plan. Until I get a sonic screwdriver, keep it. What's that noise? Surely not. So, that's how we all got here. Any questions? I have one. Do tell. How come he's here? Well, we explained. We just got put back. That's not what she meant. Huh? She's right. After all I've done in my life, I... No, but you've moved on. We forgave you. You did? What about the rest of the universe? What about my family? My family that I will never see again because of him. What it means... I'm sorry. Look, these are things we can work out later. Right now, we need to figure out what's going on with the monk. I say we track him down. Calling unit or the Gallifreyans. We can't go in all guns blazing. Besides, where would we even find him? Do you remember earlier when we were in the forest? Yes, yes, and the cyber network, it glitched and it showed us that, that weird... The weird tower thingy. And? And, and a church. I mean, the monk in a church? It does make sense. I saw it earlier when the doctor and I got separated and it made me think. If that's what you were shown when you corrupted the cyber network, what if the cyber network is being controlled from there? Exactly! Yes, and when I was captured by the cyber leader earlier, he said they were running on a single chronodyne generator, meaning they don't have much power. And earlier, that old man, he told us that the cybermen were controlled from a single point. So if we destroy the tower, then the cyber network could go down. And the converted are freed. I mean, that's quite risky. I've worked with enough cybermen over the years to know their technology is always creating backups. If we destroy that tower, their lives will return to normal. The converted will be free. Trust me, I'm... He's a doctor. But first, we need to find the monk and make sure he cannot meddle anymore. We have to give him a choice. Either he turns off the cyber plant and leaves, or we do it for him. Right, let's get to the church. <laughs> Oh, don't worry about that. That's just Trevor. He's still a bit hopeless, but it is his first day on the job. So, what's up? I don't know. It's just a lot, really. It's all right, I'll listen. Nice necklace, by the way. Thanks. I don't really know where to begin. It's all right, take your time. Sorry if this sounds like a ramble or 
but basically I was with the doctor earlier, you know, just traveling, usual, and it nearly killed me. I had a gun pointed to my head and for the first time in my life, I thought that it was over. And in that moment, I mean, I mean, I, oh, thank you. That's the doctor for you. Their life is so strange. One minute they're having cocktails on the moon and the next they're fighting off the assembled hordes of Genghis Khan. Well, I don't know if that sort of life's for me. You still travel with your doctor, don't you? Yes, of course, but not constantly. I try to balance my life. I manage the cafe on most weekdays and then at the weekend I travel with Sam and the doctor. If you don't mind me asking, have you ever been in a life or death situation? Not really. Sam has, but I guess he's used to it working with unit and all. It's just a different style of life. My mum, granddad and brother, they all travelled with the doctor. They got a weird buzz out of it, out of the danger. Well, shouldn't I feel that kind of buzz too? I don't. I like the relaxing trips away. I'd hate to be putting my life on the line every day. You don't have to. If you want the adventure without the danger, just ask. But I want to keep travelling with him, I do. I just can't. Can't what? What if, what if I died today and my mum, my brother, my family wouldn't know that I died on an alien planet? For the rest of their lives they wouldn't know what happened to me. Come here. We need to speak to you. Well, looks like he's not here. Does anyone know any other churches he could be at? He's here. I can sense it. Poor little Time Lords, so far from home. Passionate, you left your post. Risk the rest of your worthless life on this. And you, the want-to-be brigadier, who lives in the shadow of his family name. And you, the master, little goody two-shoes. After you lost your spark, you left a hole in the market. Naturally, I took the opportunity. And look at me now! I have achieved more than you could have ever imagined! And finally, I didn't know when I was well off. Three of you. Three little doctors. One brewing with rage, one clinging for dear life, and the other a splinter, a shard of glass. To what do I owe the pleasure? We're giving you a choice. Choice? Shut down the cyber network and set these people free. Stop your meddling and leave this planet alone. No. Leave, or we will make you leave. Will you now? How exactly? We'll... well... We'll... I've watched you all for weeks now. You would never use any violence. No guns, no explosions, no death. Not even the Master would do that anymore. Look. All this pain, this anger you feel bubbling up inside you. Let it go! You don't have to suffer alone. Come with us. Oh, grow up, Beardy! We don't want to kill you. We want to stop your meddling and put history to rights. I would rather die. <laughs> it's nearly done. Nearly done? 95% uploaded. Soon my army of converted will be ready for full conversion. No returns. <laughs> we need to destroy that tower now. But I'll go with him. You guys stay here. No, it's not safe. No, there's no time to argue. I'll see you soon. Doctor, I... Come on! I'll tell you later. The master and the human are escaping. Oh, let them go. I knew the master would buckle under the pressure. And, oh, humans, tragic creatures. Fascinating. 
Absolutely fascinating. Excuse me? Well, you're only capable of seeing the bad in people. Nothing more and nothing less. What do you mean? Where did they go? Well, here we are. The cyber network. All right then, let's do this. Whoa, 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 hold on. How are we actually gonna, you know, blow it up? Ah, I can help with that. What is that? Nitro 9, developed by my mother's friend, Dorothy, Dorothy McShane. Ah, unit, an explosive I assume. Yes, it's an explosive. A bit like nitroglycerin, but with a bit more wallop. The doctor doesn't know you've got this, does she? She doesn't need to know. It's controlled remotely. My phone can send a big pulse of energy to each canister. So if we can strap these to the tower, we're good to go. Indeed. That's none of your business. Tell me now or else! Or what? You're all talk. Does this look all talk to you? No. You can't have. Oh yes I have. Take that as a warning. This cretin tried to foil my plan. And look how that ended. You monster! The ascension of humankind is nigh. Oh great. What, you expected it not to be guarded? I didn't, didn't think. Yeah, I can tell. Right, you run that way and distract them. I'll climb up and detonate the Nitro 9 on the tower. I can detonate it from here. If I don't make it back in time, you still need to detonate it. Don't wait for me. No, but there's no time. Go! Come on then, convey me! I'm here! You will be like us. Upgrading is the future. Bring them to me! Okay, we need to go. We can't. We need to make sure he doesn't leave. We need to stop him from doing any more meddling. Kill them! Come on then! Convert me! Run right here! Running sheep! Say where you are. Say where you are. Here we go. We were once human, now we are cyber. Oh, hurry up! We really don't have time! You will have no need of emotions. Surrender the device. Hurry up! Now we're really good time! No! Do it! I can't! They've got the detonator! You have been saved. The cyber is shall live on. All they need to detonate is a large energy pulse, right? Yes, but I don't have the detonator! Well, here goes nothing. Well, go on. Do it. They did it. They actually did it. What? Did what? I can feel. I can see. I'm alive. He ran straight into the danger. He shut down your cyber network. All these people, all their lives, they're back. <laughs> but you saved us. Thank you. Surrender yourselves to the cyber race. Surrender now. We need to go! No, you need to go. We need to fight. Stop. He did this to us. He took my family. He took my life. Cyber should be on. <laughs> See you soon.
Sushi. No! I'll be back soon. Where could he have gone? He used a short range teleport. That's how he was doing those short trips. He couldn't have gone far. Right, everyone scan the perimeter. He could still be around us. Has anyone checked the crypt? We'll check the crypt. Take this off. What's going on? Are you...? On behalf of the Time Lord High Council, the Master is under arrest. You leave him alone. He's just saved the whole human race. I can't outrun my past. No matter how hard I try. Yeah. This is ridiculous. He's not just going to be hidden around the corner, is he? He's going to have an escape teleport or some way out of here or... I don't know, but just don't lose hope, OK? There isn't much hope left. He escaped. But I'm sure we'll find him again. At least we saved the converted people, right? Yeah, but he deserves to pay for what he did. This isn't about revenge, is it, Doctor? We don't do revenge. Why not? Look at the suffering that man's caused. He deserves it. I know. He needs to be contained. Imprisoned, even. But revenge is for cowards. Maybe. I mean, you're starting to sound like Jenna. Well, Jenna knows what she's talking about. No. Jenna! No! What? That's where he's gone. He's gone to take Jenna! What? What's going on? Look, he's got Jenna. That doesn't make any sense. No, he does. He'll have hopped across time to find her. What's going on? Look, the monk. He's taken Jenna. But we don't know that. What? Right, I need to find her. They've... they've taken him! Sorry. Don't be sorry. You need to tell the doctor how you feel. Discuss it with him. I'm sure you two will come to some sort of agreement. Yeah, you're right. What was that? What? Nothing, Trevor. Don't worry. Because your wish is my command. Bye-bye! Jenna! Jenna! Taken who? The Time Lords took the Master. They said he needs to stand trial. But they can't have! I'm sorry, I couldn't stop them. Right! Too many problems, too little time. First, we need to find my past self before he goes off the rails and does something completely stupid. What do you- I'll oh, explain on the way! Daisy? What does she want? Sam, pass me to the doctor. Oh, well nice to see you too. Pass me to her now! Doctor? Hello? Look, I need you. Jenna, she's just disappeared. She can't have. I was talking to her in the cafe and this man pressed this button and she just disappeared. The monk. The monk has Jenna, he was right. Doctor? Doctor! Trying to be the hero. Trying to... Where is she? Where's who? Don't play games with me! Is that supposed to sound threatening? Doctor! Not what? so far. Get off me! Let her go! Don't you see? This is what it's all been leading up to. 
Please, just let her go. You didn't need to bring her here. Just take me. Stay there. I didn't bring her here, Doctor. You did. If you hadn't whisked her away on all your pathetic adventures, she'd be safe at home. No, it's not your fault. I chose to come. Of course you did, and who wouldn't? If you feed a dog chocolate, it will bite. You knew no better than to saunter off with this idiot, unaware of the consequences. Monk, please, just listen to me. Isn't it ironic? The Time Lord's worst enemy is time itself. As I said earlier, I do love a good countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. It's okay. You're gonna be fine. It's not your fault, Doctor. Come on. Stay with me. You can do it. Bye. No, this isn't goodbye. I promised I'd keep you safe. You can't die now. No, no. Jenna, come on. Think about the places we were gonna visit. The galaxy. The galaxy that you pointed out earlier. The Virgo supercluster. Think about... Jenna. 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 Doctor, please, this isn't the way! No, Doctor, this isn't... Isn't what? This isn't what you would do. I even tested it myself. I set you up earlier with those cyber people. I wanted to see how far I could push you, what it would take to break you. Just pass me the gun. It seems the only thing holding you back was dear little Jenna. But now that she's gone, who knows? What does the Doctor truly stand for? If you pull the trigger, he wins. The man who never would. He's too right. He's too good. He's too... What have you done? I'm sure you're probably wondering what I might possibly have to say to you. Well, I'll make it quick. I win. That's right. I win. In death, I find purpose. Everything has gone precisely as I planned. I have destroyed everything it means to be the Doctor. Never cruel or cowardly. What he just did was both cruel and cowardly. I have broken him. I have forever changed his personal history. He is not the Doctor anymore. Meaning, meaning, bye bye, long name. Doctor, 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 you okay? Doctor, 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 Doctor! 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 And it's not just that. The timeline is irreversibly damaged. I've turned the master good by giving him his own perfect little hero's journey. Thanks, Campbell. I've thrown Gallifrey into chaos, and as far as the universe is concerned, it was all the Doctor's fault. And one final thing. Behind you are two of the three remaining Cybermen. I believe they'll take it from here. Oh, I am nasty, aren't I? Bye bye, Doctor. Turn off the recording.
can't be. Let me go! What is this interruption? You will not interfere. Do not take orders from inferior species. Let's not talk inferior. Let me go. None of us will survive if we don't get out of here. You shall be eradicated. Asylum are superior. I guess this is it then. Go on. You finally got me. Exterminate. You said you were going to kill me. Wait, you've lost me. yourself, can you? So your plan is to get an alternate version of him, that being me, to do your dirty work. What makes you think I'll even come with you? It is your purpose. What do you mean my purpose? It is why we created you. Created me? You are our That can't. Mistakes that 